This wonderful city needs a medical center because this city is part of a scenario where to beat the scenario I have, I need to have 80% average citizen health and I'm currently at 78% sure I could just you know uh, increase those 2% but I want that monument the medical health center which will guarantee 100% health on the city and I thought it was just easy to unlock the buildings there's a bunch of prereqs and basically you need to build buildings and in order to build those buildings you need to achieve some milestones which are normally nasty milestones so the first milestone that I did on the previous challenge challenge I should say and by the way the link is up there on the top right hand corner below if you want to check it out I had to get the crime rate over 50% And I thought that was it. And once I unlocked it, um, it wasn't it. Now what I need to do is to get an unemployment rate above 50%. Let me double check it actually. Let me double check that. It's the oppression office, where is it? Yeah, 50%, we're currently at 11. And I really don't know how we can make all these people unemployed. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll find out. Oh, by the way, I built this building. Yeah, so this is the courthouse. Oh, I want that medical center. As you can see, I haven't unlocked any building. And so I'm doing this, this series of challenges where I'm going to use this city, which is part of a scenario, to actually try to achieve all of these things. Well, probably not all of them, but a few of them I'll try to unlock. Anyway, we are currently at 11% unemployment and I will try to do the easiest thing. I could unzone a bunch of stuff, which I might, but for now I want to see if by just simply raising the taxes on office and industrial and commercial and lowering the taxes, yeah, let's say 2%, lowering the taxes for residential will be enough to get our citizens happy so they don't live too much but have a huge unemployment rate let's speed up the time and find out okay 51 percent unemployment i probably still can't build yeah i need to maintain for five weeks okay i need to pause this because i need to make sure these people have power Give power to the people. That's what I'm going to give. Okay, I've connected the power so that people can actually move into the city. And we just need to hold it for five weeks. Come on. did it do we have the oppression office let's plop it immediately next to the other building just to see how cool it looks oh actually it fits it perfectly oh wow okay let me pause the game because we are bleeding money oh wow these buildings are actually nice these are actually nice buildings okay can i finally build my monument i can success yes yes First I unleashed a huge crime wave and then I increased the unemployment rate to 50% just so I can increase 2% on the health of my cities. Oh wow, look at this huge traffic line. Oh, is everybody moving? Look, 2,000 people moving in. <laughs> okay, now let's do a mini challenge, which is can we restore health? to the city, I mean by health, I should say unemployment rates going to a healthy number of like 63%. <laughs> we are losing a lot of money per week. Okay, let's try to restore this city to its former glory, shall we? So before I unpause, let me adjust the taxes because that's the only thing I've done. 
uh, although I still need the money so I'm going to raise this to 10% and bring all of this down to 10% as well and hopefully that will work okay I think I need to be a bit more aggressive with the taxes by the way I got a bunch of loans as well let's see if I can even boost this up a bit by lowering all of this to 3% yeah, let's do that. Not actually, let's reduce it all the way down to 1%. And let's see if we're not going to bleed too much money. Actually, what I think I should do is, is do the uh, complete opposite. Actually raise the taxes of the population so that some population actually leaves. Yeah, less population means less unemployment, right guys? I'm such a great politician. I would be. I think I have the right skills, don't you think? Wow, uh, population is almost down to half and uh, the unemployment still didn't change that much. Who would have thought that creating jobs and lowering unemployment is such a difficult task? Okay, I've put taxes back to a acceptable number. I still keep these taxes really low. Hopefully the demand will start to increase I already see some buildings being zoned yes I do we have power issues anyway uh, probably this view would be better now we are good okay here we are not that good oh my beautiful touristic area completely deployed. I don't know why people wouldn't want to visit the city oh now the zoo is on fire <laughs> look at this yeah okay and we are bleeding money again i guess I'd, i'll keep doing this meaning lowering the taxes and raising them and lowering them so i can balance the budget the balance i should say um while waiting for the jobs to come back because wow i thought this would recover much faster to be honest let's take a quick look so all this effort and only like 15 20 percent it's not a lot. Oh, it's this. Okay. Well, let's continue to speed up the time. I'm just looking around to see if there's something I can do to help, other than emptying cemeteries. Yeah, apparently, unemployment also causes death. Interesting. Okay, this doesn't seem to go very well. Uh, or at least slowly, at least the city is stabilized, but look at the population growth. So much population growth and such a high unemployment rate. It's a bit crazy, so I'm going to see if with the policies, like this one and this one, and I guess this one will help increase, increase the... Um, the job creation maybe track businesses uh, we will see we are making money now that's a good thing but it's weird it takes so long to recover i mean weird interesting and i guess it's kind of realistic right <laughs> if you destroy completely the businesses of a city it takes some time to recover so yeah let's fast forward a little bit and see how we are in a, in a maybe I'll probably speed this up for like an hour or so yeah okay I'll be right back let's see how we are after after a few a few weeks or months in game time After a lot of waiting, probably around one and a half hour, we have the unemployment back to normal. Although the city is still struggling a bit with demand as you can see here, population goes up and down quite a lot and we are not making a lot of money, but we 
fix the unemployment and we can unblock all the buildings we need, particularly this monument, the medical center. Wow, let's plop it somewhere here and let's take a look at it. Wow, let's take a look here like this. Wow, that's a very modern building. Wow, it looks really, really cool. Wow, really, really cool. And I think that's it, guys. We could unlock these two buildings over here. One on the previous attempt and this one on today's attempt. And we now have a medical center. Cool. If you like this and you want me to unlock more monuments, I don't know how to unlock them, by the way. So we would figure them out together. And you're listening to my three-year-old that in the meantime came to my lab. So you... <laughs> so yeah if you want me to do more of these things and these shorter videos where we try to unlock monuments without using any mods and um, and just using this big city as a, a lab let me know and if you like this just uh, let me know in the comments as well and now I'm going to play with this baby and I'm going to tell him to say goodbye to you baby can you say adios às pessoas? Bye bye everybody. Did you hear that? Bye bye everybody.